Last fall, Mark Zuckerberg announced Facebook would change its name to Meta. Zuckerberg saying at the time, from now on, we're going to be Metaverse first, not Facebook first. While there may have been some name-changing PR at play during a time of intense criticism of the company, it is clear Zuckerberg believes the future will be virtual, and his is just one of many major companies going meta. In our Sunday Spotlight, NBC's Gotti Schwartz reports on the effort to make the virtual closer to reality. Beyond all the commercials and movies and video hyping up a digital future, there is a truly remarkable fact. After 2.6 million years on Earth, humans have begun to build a completely alternate universe. Welcome to the Metaverse, the Internet's 3D iteration. For now, limited to a few games and platforms, but developers think it could become a future for social gatherings. Give me a hug. Yeah. All right, come in here. <laughs> And if this looks or sounds weird, I promise you it gets even weirder when you put on a headset. Hi, I'm Gotti. Developers have been hard at work to make sure the virtual self you see is a full body experience. And avatars have come a long way in recent years. What we want to do in this is actually capture your whole body so that you actually are physically present in this metaverse world. But Chris Harrison and his team at Carnegie Mellon's Future Interfaces Research Lab in Pittsburgh are looking beyond what you can see to what you can feel. So this is really about like, touching. This is touching the metaverse, not it's just not seeing it or hearing yeah, it. Yeah, we're letting other people work on the looking. We're trying to do the touching. So now, now my spatial awareness is like, OK. So here's my, here are my hands. And it's right in, the, right in the soft spot, which kind of feels like a button. Some are in the form of puppet-like gloves. Hello, Mr. Lion. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> I can feel the contours of his face. Others are a little more disconcerting. Whoa, it's raining on my lips. What is going on? The, the receptors on your lips <laughs> are feeling the uh, acoustic pressure from the ultrasound speakers. You wait, you're, you're touching my lips with, with sound? Yes, with sound. We're adding up a bunch of sound waves on your lips. Do you wow. want to try the other demos first? Ah! With sight, touch, and hearing activated, the next obvious sense to tackle is smell. So this is a very like sweet, earthy note that we use for our forest formulation. At OVR Technology in Vermont, it's not just about getting a whiff of the woods. Our sense of smell is influencing what we think, uh, what we feel, um, how we behave, and even who we love. There is a deep primal psychology at play that developers hope can help patients like Mike of the River Rock Treatment Center dealing with depression and substance abuse. If you can just like change what you're seeing and smelling and hearing like very quickly, I think that'll change your mood um, pretty fast as well. You might smell something that it's pleasant to you and you immediately feel a sense of happiness. If you are aware that the body feels better, the body will secrete those very chemicals you need to make yourself feel better. Engaging as many senses as possible to let us further explore the way we perceive reality. I am most excited about the future. All the demos you're seeing today are going to be commercialized and be commercial products in five or 10 years. Wow. For Sunday Today, Gotti Schwartz, Pittsburgh. Gotti, thank you very much. You can learn more about this new virtual world of the future all week in our NBC News series, Inside the Metaverse. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.